Have you ever wondered how to best support your child or loved one with a disability? What are the do's and don'ts of raising a child with a disability? Today, I'm going to share my personal experiences and insights from growing up with cerebral palsy, CP, specifically spastic diplegia. Physically, I'm ambulatory but wore a leg brace growing up and walked with a limp. My coordination and balance have always been impacted, so there are things I still can't do and never learn to do, such as riding a bike, roller skating, or swimming. While my case is relatively mild, there are many things I wish my parents had known and done differently. This advice applies to all types of disabilities and conditions, so stick around to hear my first-hand tips. 1. Treat the whole child. Cerebral palsy is often seen primarily as a physical condition, but the mental and emotional toll can be significant. My parents focused on physical treatments, but I felt broken inside. Counseling could have helped me accept my condition and develop coping skills like self-advocacy and dealing with bullying. It's important to address not just the physical, but also the emotional and psychological aspects of living with a disability. Therapy and support groups can provide your child with the tools they need to navigate the challenges they face. 2. Embrace differences and promote acceptance. Teach your children that everyone is unique in their own way. Instead of focusing on finding a cure, emphasize acceptance. When I was a kid, my parents' constant search and hope for a cure made me feel broken. A great resource for children is Sonia Sotomayor's book, Just Ask, Be Different, Be You. It highlights various disabilities, both visible and invisible, and promotes understanding and acceptance. I will leave the link for this book in the description. It's crucial not to be overly pessimistic about your child's condition. Acknowledge that their condition or disability is a part of them, but it doesn't define them. Celebrate their strengths and focus on their abilities. Emphasizing what they can do rather than what they can't will help build their self-esteem and resilience. Three, educate yourself and your child. Learn about the specific type of CP or other condition, such as autism, ADHD, etc. your child has, so you can explain it to them and help them explain it to others. Did you know children with CP might startle more easily or have a poor sense of direction? I didn't know these things were related to my CP until recently. Knowing more about their condition can empower your child and help them feel less isolated. Growing up, I was often bullied because I walk with a limp and I never knew how to explain my condition. If I had known more, I could have educated others and felt more confident. Providing your child with knowledge about their condition will enable them to answer questions and advocate for themselves effectively. 4. Ensure school accommodations. Make sure your child gets the accommodations they need in school. Regularly check in with them about their day and any challenges they might be facing. Cerebral palsy affects more than just physical abilities. Approximately 30-50% of children with CP have some form of mental impairment that affects learning. Because my CP was mild, many of the cognitive challenges I faced went unnoticed. For example, I have a slower processing speed than others and struggle to organize my thoughts quickly when speaking and writing. As a child, I was too timid to ask for extra time on tests or writing assignments. Recording lectures and reviewing them at my own pace made a huge difference for me in college. Communicate regularly with your child's teachers and school staff to ensure they are aware of and responsive to your child's needs. This might include extra time for tests, modified seating arrangements, or access to assistive technologies. 5. Teach self-advocacy. Your child might be shy or afraid to ask for help, so be their advocate, but also teach them self-advocacy skills. Let them know it's okay to ask for assistance and extra time when needed. Empowering them to speak up for themselves is invaluable. Role-playing different scenarios and practicing what to say can boost their confidence and ability to advocate for their needs. 6. Encourage new experiences. Never underestimate your child or stop them from trying new things. Encourage them to pursue their interests, even if they need extra help or accommodations. It's important to foster a sense of independence and curiosity. Support them in trying new activities, whether it's a new sport, a hobby, or an academic subject. Encourage your child to follow inspiring individuals on social media who have thrived despite adversities. Seeing others succeed can be incredibly motivating. Role models who have overcome similar challenges can provide hope and inspiration. CP affects everyone differently, but the key is to approach it positively and with acceptance. I now see my disability in a much more positive light, but it took a lot of conscious effort and reframing. I'm a speech therapist working in schools and a second year graduate student working on my master's degree in speech and language pathology. However, anxiety and depression continue to be significant challenges for me, partly because of how my disability was stigmatized. In fact, my channel is largely dedicated to talking about my mental health struggles, living with a disability, and the different treatments and medications I have tried. 
Reframing how you and others view and talk about disabilities and focusing on acceptance will help your child be more comfortable and accepting of themselves. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. See you next time.